Welcome back to Peter TV. Another day, another piece of Spider-Man news. We already had the strong rumors that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire were coming back for Spider-Man Home 3. We had direct and subsequently deleted confirmation from Jamie Foxx that Electro would be coming back. Then this week we had actual reports that Alfred Molina's Doc Ock will be coming in. And apparently Kirsten Dunst and maybe Emma Stone depending on pregnancy. And then rumors that Charlie Cox's Daredevil will be here. And we've already known about Doctor Strange. And I'm pretty sure Tom Holland's gonna be in this. Far From Home ended on a note that would seem to be pretty unrelated from all the news and rumors we've gotten so far. And unlike the gap between Homecoming and Far From Home, which had both Infinity War and Endgame between them, along with plenty of other big Marvel movies, there's only three MCU movies and of course some Disney Plus stuff that will come out between Far From Home and 3, none of which seemed like they would have too big of a direct impact on Spider-Man 3. So it seems safe to assume that Spider-Man 3, I hate calling it that because that already happened, will directly deal with Spider-Man's secret identity being revealed and all the aftermath and fallout from it. So the easy question is, how do you fit all this pre-established plot and characters with all this other stuff that's apparently also coming? Well, the easy questions are why I'm here, though I'm not sure there's really an easy answer. Well, we know Doctor Strange is the mentor for this movie, whatever that means this time, and he has his own multiverse of madness coming up, so you can only assume all the other spider people are coming through him. Daredevil makes sense because not only do Spider-Man and Daredevil have a good history in the comics, Spider-Man might really need a lawyer right now. He's kind of been framed for murder. And Spider-Man can definitely use some more ground level allies right now. I already brought up a whole bunch of questions that can be answered in the other Spider-Man's lives, but how do they fit in this story? Will they be burying types and ages of mentors for Thomas Peter? Will one of them be more optimistic and see the bright side of things because of his experiences or Will one of them be more downtrodden and jaded even? How active will they be as Spider-Man in this movie? Like will they just be fellow Peters for Peter, who might just give some advice or something like that? Will they jump in on this main Peter's action, whether it just be in some final battle or wherever else? Will they all be fighting their respective villains together? Does MCU Spidey even have his own villain in this movie? No, no one's been announced really. I assume there will be one, but maybe he's just fighting his bad PR? How is Doc Ock in this by the way? Did he just not drown at the end? Is he unreformed? Are the arms just in control again? Is it just the arms in control and he's just kinda hanging there? Is he just like alive and just a good guy now? I don't know, maybe he'll date Aunt May. If you haven't noticed, I'm just asking even more questions in this video. What's up with Gwen if she's actually in this? Is this a Spider-Gwen situation? Or is she just back with a neck brace or something? I don't know. Maybe the easiest way to reconcile her and Doc Ock both being back for this is just them being alternate versions of these now alternate versions of these characters. I don't know, I'm just trying to think out loud to piece together parts of the plot from these leaks, rumors, whatever you want to call them. Some of it is news, there's actually reports from trades now. Still to me, what I would prefer and what I think is the easiest way to combine all of these pieces into one puzzle that still looks like something is for this not to be the big Spider-Man live action Spider-Verse movie, which I'm not convinced that it is. I think we'll see these alternate realities, maybe they'll get 10 minutes each or something, maybe they all converge, maybe they don't, but this has to remain a Tom Holland Spider-Man movie even more maybe than Civil War had to say a Captain America movie. All of the elements involved have to drive the plot of Tom Holland's Spider-Man story. And I'm excited to see how they put it all together. So let me know, are you excited? Are you worried? Spider-Man movies definitely have their history of clutter. So how do you see this working out? How do you want to see it working out? Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Be honest with yourself. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to let your speeder sense to know when I upload. And remember, not washing your hands will not let you climb walls like Spider-Man. So wash your hands. And I'll see you probably tomorrow.